This is Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for May 27, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up 1.94 points or 0.47% to 416.4. The total trade volume was up from Friday with 104,143 shares changing hands at a total trading value of over 478.8 million Khmer real or over 117,000 US dollars. On the main board, Pestec Cambodia PLC saw the biggest percentage gain, just as it did in our last report on Friday, up 2.69% or 60 real to 2,290 real per share. Cam GSM PLC followed second, up 0.83% or 20 real to 2,440 real per share. Other stocks that saw their price increase included Phnom Penh SCZ PLC, Grand Twins International, Scenicville Autonomous Port, and Aklata Bank. On the downside, the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port was down 0.60%, or 80 real, to 13,340 real per share, while MGQ Education was also down 0.49%, or 10 real, to 2,040 real per share. The Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority saw no change with a stable stock price of 7,380 real per share. MJQ Education saw the highest number of shares traded, with 37,997 shares changing hands at a total value of 77.6 million Khmer real, or 19,025 US dollars. The second top contributor to the trade volume was Aklata Bank once again, with 30,536 shares changing hands at a value of 233.5 million Khmer real, or over 57,000 US dollars. Pestec Cambodia PLC and Grand Twins International saw the lowest number of shares traded, with 162 and 377 shares traded respectively, with a combined value of 1.2 million Khmer real, or roughly 294 US dollars. On the growth board, JS Land was up 8.82% or 350 real per share to 4,320 real per share, while DBD Engineering was up 0.46% or 10 real to 2,190 real per share. In other market news, the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority released the minutes of its 12th general meeting of shareholders, during which it was decided that a total cash dividend of 4.5 billion Khmer real, equal to 350 Khmer real per share, would be distributed to private shareholders from June 19 to 25, 2024. The Royal Railway also released its first quarterly report of 2024, reporting a total revenue of 3.2 million US dollars or 13.3 billion Khmer real, which was a 4.48% increase compared to the same period in 2023. Meanwhile, the Royal Railway also reported it saw a net loss of a whopping 419.98%, down 2.6 million US dollars or 10.7 billion Khmer real to negative 2 million US dollars or negative 8.1 million Khmer real. The Scenicville Autonomous Port also released its Q1 2024 report, sharing a total revenue of approximately 23.8 million US dollars or 97.7 billion Khmer real, an increase of 25.43% compared to Q1 2023. However, the company's Q1 2024 net profit was 8.1 million US dollars or 33.2 billion Khmer real, which is down 49.53% compared to the same period in 2023. The Khmer real to USD weakened to 4,079, while the US dollar index fell slightly to 104.69. Oil prices were steady in Asian trading on Monday as markets awaited an OPEC Plus meeting on June 2nd, where producers are expected to discuss maintaining voluntary output cuts for the rest of the year. The Brent crude July contract was up 24 cents to 82.36 US dollars per barrel. The more active August contract rose 29 cents to 82.13 US dollars. Gold prices ticked up on Monday as investors assessed diminishing bets of a U.S. interest rate cuts ahead of a key inflation report due later in the week. Spot gold was up 0.5% to $2,344.46 US dollars per ounce. U.S. gold futures also climbed 0.5% to $2,345.60 US dollars. The futures for the S&P 500 slipped less than 0.1%, while the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell just over 0.1%. Meanwhile, Tokyo's Nikkei index added 0.7% to 38,900.02. This was Darshan Agauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for May 27th.